the sun was out and it was a hot day in Tokyo for the quarterfinals of the Rakuten Japan Open. Not a spare ticket in the house, and a big reason for that is this man, Kei Nishikori. The world number 60's status is growing by the day here, as is his fan base, and what a match in store for his supporters. It was a repeat of the US Open final 2014, as he took on Marin Cilic. The Croat knew he was going to have to overcome a crowd heavily in favour of his opponent, but he was able to block that out, and it was the world number 14 who started the brighter. The running in the early part of the game was all being done by Nishikori. He's giving Cilic too many looks at second serves. His frustration is very obvious. This was not going the way the crowd had hoped. Brilliant serving display. As the set went on, he was clinical, was Cilic. There was little in it in the second set, but Nishikori was starting to see the ball better on the return and looking to dominate the rallies more than he had in the first set. Suddenly, the boy from Japan was back in it. The hometown hero is still alive and kicking in Tokyo. The momentum was now definitely with the defending champion. And when the break occurred in game four, there was going to be only one winner. There's the break. And what a way to finish it. Kayla Shikori through to the semi-finals in Tokyo. Austin Krajicek was playing in his first ATP quarterfinals, and it doesn't get much tougher than this. If he was to progress to his first semi-final, a win over the world number four, Stan Wawrinka, was the order of the day. And that is always a tough task when your opponent has a backhand that can do this kind of damage. Well, there it is. The trademark backhand here. And his forehand can do this. Great angle. Stan took the first set and dominated the second. And in under an hour, the world number four had booked a place in his first semi final in Japan. It was a match of the two Gilles in this quarter final Muller and Simon. And it was the lower ranked man from Luxembourg that was making life uncomfortable for the Frenchman. And Muller makes no mistake with his latest opportunity. He held his serve and took the set 6 3. That lost set clearly unsettled the world number 10. It's a nightmare. It's so insecure overhead. But there was not a lot he could do about this. Whoa, class from Gilles Muller. Muller went on to break in that game and served out the match to move into the semi-final where he'll play Stan Wawrinka. He's got it. Gilles Muller has turned the tables on Gilles Simon. This quarter-final between Nick Kyrgios and Benoit Paire involved two of the more unpredictable characters on the tour. Shots of points today. Both guys very much like to express themselves, as we know. The first set, though, went the way of the Australian. Will there be a challenge? But there wasn't enough of a challenge from Pear's point of view in the opening part of the set. It remained even in the second set until at 5 4, Pear was given a gift on set point. Game in second set. Pear, six games. Kyrgios served another double fault in his first service game of the third set. And from then on, it was one-way traffic. And there is a break which will surely meet the match now for Pat. The Australian was not looking happy. The world number 32 didn't take long to put him out of his misery to set up a semi-final with Kei Nishikori. A glimpse of the best of Benoit Pair in that final shot and in the final set. We knew there'd be theatrics in this one. And we weren't disappointed in that regard. Benoit Paire, in a battle of flair players, comes through. But Nick Kyrgios rather imploded. <laughs>